Hi traders, the S&P starts down today 1.2%. It's a huge gap down. So let's discuss what are my options. Well, first, I need to trust what happens, I would say, probably 70% of the time. When the market starts down over 0.8%, you do not expect it to move up and close the gap. Normally, small gaps are getting closed. But when the gap is big, like 0.8 or higher, 1.2% today, you do not expect it to move up and close the gap. You expect a failure. That's why I'm taking a short trade right now in NVIDIA, expecting it to come down. But I'm going to be careful, and I'm going to short it just half of my normal size, 2,000 shares. I'm short here, expecting NVIDIA to fail. It tried to move higher with the market. It started moving down before the market moved down as you can see the market still holding but I, I already have this dodgy candle in the middle so I'm looking for another trade here but again I'm being cautious and I'm going to show just half size also in Amazon because Amazon also tried to move higher failed and I also like the daily of Amazon. Anyway, I'm shorting here half size 2000 shares expecting the market to fail. I don't yet have a proof but Almost 70% of the time, it's likely that the market will fail moving higher, trying to move higher. Maybe some people are bottom fishing. Um, they think the market will move up and close the gap. It's not likely to happen. So far, Amazon is looking good and Nvidia is looking good. And I'm trying again to figure out what the market is going to do because the, 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 the key is where the market is going to go. Now, until now, I haven't done anything wrong. I was trusting the market to fail moving higher. And as you can see, I've got a small red candle after a doji. It still looks as if the market is going to come down, but I don't have the proof yet because you can see that the red candle right now did not move under the previous candle. So I don't really have the technical reversal yet. It still is holding as it was so i'm trying to figure out what happens and look at this green candle coming up right now so this is changing everything now the smp just moved over the highs and i'm thinking oh goodness this is now what's what's happening now is something that happens maybe 30 percent of the time the market is moving up i'm still hoping to get some kind of a failure here uh, and watching the stocks that i traded because they are likely to respond to the market when the market is moving this way Everything is moving with the market. Well, almost all stocks will move with the market. It doesn't matter if Nvidia is extremely weak or Amazon is extremely weak. They are likely to move with the market. The market is moving almost everything. So as you can see now, we're moving to a new high. We're just moving up enough to close the gap and we continue in its big upside move. And look at Nvidia. It's moving up with the market. And of course, I need to realize that I just moved in the, in the in the wrong direction so i i have to close this trade um, i'm looking for some kind of a confirmation here that it wants to move over 164 it just did so i'm closing this trade and um well anyway i couldn't hold on the market made the wrong move it moved up instead of coming down and amazon of course moved up with the market i closed this trade too so i've got two losing trades now what i what 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 from uh, educational perspective what I want to say uh, in this video is that uh, we have to examine whatever we did today and figure out what went wrong it's very important to understand that as you can see I'm down just over six grand and the, I have a few options now one of them is to trust the market direction and go long something because the market just moved up closed the gap and it's moving up and it's very strong and actually yesterday we had a very strong upside day so you maybe uh, you could expect the market to continue what happened yesterday. No, I don't trust the market because we are in a bear market. So I'm thinking, okay, we are in a bear market now. The market is moving higher. I can't trust it. Therefore, I can't go long. Now, believe me, I want to get back to green. At this point, uh, in deep in my mind, uh, I'm thinking about how should I get back to green, but I don't trust the market direction. It is moving higher. I don't go against it right now, definitely not, because the market is always right. It is moving higher. I, yes, I do not trust it, so I will not go long. Definitely won't go short, although I'm feeling like I was right. I want to prove that I was right. And I'm looking at some stocks which are relatively weak, like Baba just moved under the lows and, and other stocks which are looking great for short. But I will not fight the market. So my only option, as I see it, is be disciplined. Extremely disciplined because I do want to get back to green. I will not take another trade today. I've done enough 
enough damage. I thought the market is likely to move down. I was wrong. Normally, I will be right. Most of the time, I will be right. Most of the time, the market will fail. I'll find another trade. I'll take a third one. I'll add size to the already existing trades while I look at the market and I can see that it's moving the way I, I expected it. But not today. Do not fight the market. If the market is moving higher, you can join, but I just don't feel it's the right direction. So I'm just going to take my loss. It's a relatively small losing day for me and I'm done with it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a like. You can subscribe right over here. There's a, a notification bell also that you can hit on. And uh, if you want to be notified of my future uploads. So thank you again. Please remember trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. There's plenty of links here below if you want to join me and trade the same platform I do, which is the Colmex Pro platform. Start with demo. Don't start with a real account. Be careful. Thank you very much for watching this video.